<clears throat> okay, let's hope that um, the phone doesn't fall, okay? Because I'm not trying to do another take. I'm trying to get this message out because I'm getting a lot of channeling and a lot of downloads. I feel like a lot of this, these messages that I'm getting is for myself. But I did um, meditate with my cards and I meditated and asked God and the universe to give whatever message it is to everyone who watches. So let's start again and say good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> um, there's so much to say and I always try to like squeeze everything in so it won't be too long and too drawn out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just do the cards and then we'll talk about everything. Um, I did something different today, y'all. I pulled, I pulled 14 cards. Don't ask me why. Again, when I meditate and I go into my meditative state, which is a 3D, a 5D, or 8D, um, and I was, just, and then I put on a, a guided meditation, a, um, specifically for tarot. So I'm shuffling, shuffling, and I'm asking God, please give me some messages to give to the collective. So this is what came out. So I'm going to have to read them. <laughs> Again, it will not resonate with everybody. Every single 14 cards will not resonate with everybody. Maybe won't even resonate with me, but something in here is going to resonate because I woke up today inspired and I woke up today to get a message out to all my people. Um, I always talk about this card. I always talk about this card. This is the tower card and no, it's not the greatest card, Um. This just means either within this week, last week, within the month of August, there was a tower moment in your life. Something happened, terrible, crumbled down, you know, lost a job, lost a person, a heartbreak, you broke a leg. I don't know, you know, God forbid, but tower card, no good. But can we come back from it? Yes, we can come back from it. And that is the good part of a tower card because this means everything crumbles and you get a new beginning. You get a new start. So, you know, some readers tell it as a good card and some readers tell it as a not so good card. I'm in between, to be honest with you. My, to my tower moments, and you can have more than one. My tower moments are not great, but the way I recover is awesome. Um, Ten of Swords, right after the Tower card. So when I was shuffling these cards, of course, I'm meditating. My eyes was closed and they're just all falling on the floor. You know, they're flipping out. Out of spirit is taking them, just taking them, taking them. So I didn't take them in order. You know, I've been, I didn't pick them up in order. So it could have really went like this. You got bad news and then you crumbled. Um, who knows? But... Ten of Swords is like, it's over. It, it, it's over. Something that was terrible, something that happened to you is over now because you're at the 10. Ten of Swords, you're down for the count, but you're about to get up. Um, competition around you. This is the Five of Wands. Competition around you. Um, or conflict, which also relates to these cards over here that I just showed you. It could be conflict, bickering at work, um, bickering within the family. That goes on with me all the time. Um, you'll be fine. Sometimes I have another deck where the five of wands is like, just like this, the wands, but they're leading up like this. And the last guy is like, reaching up. I like that five of wands because basically that deck um, is referring to the card saying like at the end you'll get it. At the end you'll have all these conflicts but you'll end up reaching your goal. Um, maybe at the end I'll show you that five of wands. But five of wands means conflict or competition. 
So something like that is happening around you. Guess what the next card is? <laughs> we always come back, okay? Best card in the deck. The sun card is everything. It, it's one of the best cards in the deck. Y'all should all know Ten of Pentacles is my favorite card in the deck because that means lots of abundance and it could be abundance of anything. It could be abundance of love or whatever. But the sun card is all of that in one. The sun card is like you have, you're on your spiritual path. You are abundant in money. You are abundant in love. You are abundant all together spiritually, mentally, physically. Like the star, the, the sun card is like the best. I don't know if I was saying the star card, but this is the sun card. Um, the star card is good too. <laughs> um, but this is the best card in the deck. You, at the end of all of these, this tower, this ten of swords, this conflict, at the end of all of it, this is where we all coming out for. Because I'm reading for all of us, like the whole collective. I think I have 35 subscribers, hopefully more. I'm reading for all of us. And at the end, this is what we get. And I shouldn't even say the end because I'm not at the end of the reading. This is just in the middle. And this is what you're going to get because your belief system, the universe, God, your God, whoever it is, is believing in you. He's not going to let you fall. You may get knocked down, but he will pick you up. But you have to believe. You can't just believe on a, on a, on a high note. Oh, I go to church. I read the Bible. It has to be deeper than that. You know, when it gets deeper than that, you will feel his presence. You will feel him pick you up and everything's going to be a okay. Awesome sauce. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Awesome sauce. I don't know. <laughs> um, seven of Pentacles. Um, I always tell you Pentacles is great. Pentacles is earth. Pentacles is um, money. Pentacles is money first. Second, um, Pentacles is earth here, material. Um, so seven of Pentacles mean you're, you're watching your harvest grow. Um, and we've got this card before. We in a different deck that I pulled from. Um, and this is good that I'm coming back with the same cards because that means you're still watching your harvest grow. You're working. What that means is you're working hard. You're saving your money. You have a goal that you're, you're building all of this to. You see her just looking back like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You see it? Even though she looked crazy, but it's all right. She looking at her, she's looking at her empire and what she's building. Okay. Um, page of swords. I don't like these. I'm going to be honest. I don't like like the, the people. I was going to say the people in the deck, but I really mean like the pages and the knights because pages are young in the deck. They're young. Like they have young energy. Um, knights, they have young energy. Pages are usually all, all over the place. Page of swords mean like you have this uncontrollable, uh, energy, and you just have all these crazy ideas in your head, um, but you don't really do nothing about it, you know what I'm saying, she got a sword, she got a sword in her hand, because she's the page of sword, but she's swinging at the air, you know what I'm saying, if you get this card, which we all get this card, if you have a project in mind, or you want to do something at work, or you want to do a side thing that you don't want nobody to know about, go along with your plan, but you got to pick people to tell, if you're going to tell somebody, tell somebody who's going to really listen to you and say, and give you the confidence, like, oh, you could do it, you could do it. This morning, when I woke up and saw all of those people react to my pictures, I didn't think that at all. I totally didn't think anyone would, I, you know, yeah, I thought people was going to be like, oh, Karen. But when I saw how many people liked it, you know, y'all gave me the inspiration to say, yeah, I'm going to go along with my plans and what I planned on doing. So, Page of Swords, she has a lot of energy. If this, this could be you or someone around you who just has a lot of ideas and they could be good ideas, but because she has so much energy, nobody's really listening to her. So pick the right people in your, in your group of friends or your group of family that you know is really going to listen to you and really going to egg you on 
you know, think about your ideas too. Don't let them be too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, page of swords. <laughs> Five of cups. With those, one thing that tarot readers do is that they take the cards. Oh, I told you. And I'm still going to post this video. I don't care. There we go. Y'all see my wigs? Damn. <laughs> um, five of Cups. One thing that readers do with cards is that they take each card and they intertwine it into this amazing story. So at the end, you're like, wow, that's my life. That's what... I don't do all of that. I'm still a baby reader. So... I just literally take the card, I tell you what it means, I tell you if I'm getting like channeling any type of words coming in my head or thoughts that I'm thinking, I tell you what's on my mind, and hopefully with the card and what I'm telling you resonates with you. I don't know your story, so I'm not trying to put your story together, <laughs> okay? So this wild page, the reason I told you all of that is because this wild page of swords energy type person... And now we got the five of cups. This is how readers put cards together. You had all this energy. Either you didn't do it with the five of cups. Either you did not do anything with your ideas. So you're down and depressed looking at the three cups on the ground. You're so focused on what's not going right in your life that you don't even turn around and see the two cups that are behind you. Now, those two cups could be two people who's going to listen to you, two people who's going to invest in you, two people who's going to inspire you to go through with your plans, two people who are going to help you change up your plans so that your plans can really go somewhere. These two cups is full to the top of abundance, but you so worried about these three cups on the floor. That's me all day. I'm telling you, that's me all day. I'm here. I'm worried about... If I'm going to get to work on time, if I'm going to pick Alex up on time, um, I'm worried about this. I'm worried about like this dancing thing that I'm about to start or this calendar. Is it going to work? But if I turn around and see all the all the work that I have already planted, I already danced for a long time. I have a clientele. Um, I already started these ideas, I already started making them and creating them. Three, I already put the photo shoot out, these two pictures, some of the pictures, and people love them. Why am I focusing on what's not going to work for me or focusing on something that didn't happen yet instead of focusing on what I did already and that, that, that did great for me? Something that I cooked, that I accomplished, and that I feel amazing about. Don't be this five of cups. This is a whack card. This is a weak card to me, you know, and this card is for all of us, including myself. So I know today I'm not even going to be looking at those three of cups that spilled. I'm definitely going to be looking at the two of cups that's behind me. Um, I know that was long, but I needed to show, show you how people, how the readers intertwine the cards and the meaning. Okay, Three of Swords. This is heart heartbreak or heartache. Um, this could be last week or whatever. It could have been in the last month of the 30 days um, that you went, we all went through some type of heartache or heartbreak. Um, I know this resonates with me. <laughs> A whole bunch. This resonates with me. So that's really all I'm going to say about it. it. It either resonates with you or it doesn't. Either you're going through some type of heartbreak with a person or a heartache, like a, a loss of a person and you're missing them or something. You're hurting a little bit so or a lot. That's what that is. But what you do is you pray. Okay? That thing that they call magic, it's really just praying. Try it. I'm telling you. Please, just try it. <laughs> and let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't mean... I know you're going to say, oh, I pray every day. No. I mean, when you have, when there's a full moon out, or if you have a candle, look at my, look at my seven-day candle right here. Okay? Look at all my candles is right here. I got so much stuff right here. Go to the dollar store, get a white candle, 
you don't have to wait for a full moon. I just mentioned that because there was one, there was a half of a, there was like a waning moon last night. It wasn't a full moon. Um, light your candle and pray from the depths of your soul. Don't pray out your mouth. Pray from the depths of your soul. Think it, visualize it, say it, and feel it. And give it 30 days. I promise you, if you got a wish, do it then. If you got a prayer, you want God to help you, do it then. Do it just how I said it. Think it, visualize it, speak it, and feel it from your soul. I bet you. And then hit me up in the comments or call me. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Remember Seven of Pentacles? She was harvesting, looking at what she's growing. She working every day. That's what I'm doing. I'm working every day. I'm trying to save like $25, $50, you know, put it to the side when I can. Some, most of the time I forget, but when I do remember, I try to put it to the side. Look where we're going to end up. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is super great. Like you're almost at a 10. Like you are, you're, you're building, you're building on something. I know what I'm building on, so that means you building on some stuff too. And it's just going to end up great. It's going to end up great again. <laughs> um, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is clarity. Like, you must have had an aha moment at some point. Um, I rarely have, though, I rarely have aha moments. Um... But this morning, I had I had that inspiration feeling of, yes, this is my purpose. This is my purpose. Like, this is what God keeps pushing me to do. This whole Danny Moon thing, this whole cards thing, the dance thing, the um, weight loss thing, the mental health thing. Aha, like, I, re I can't put it down. You know, that was my aha moment, which I have all the time in spurts, you know what I mean? But, but it's getting louder and louder and louder. I've had so much, um, how do you say it? Um, I've had so much bad talk, I could say, when it comes to these tarot cards. People talking about me, people asking me if I'm alright, like what I'm doing. Oh, you don't believe in God? <sighs> Sorry. I was looking at my notifications. Um, Nothing stops me. Nothing's gonna stop me. Plain and simple. And nothing, because I'm pulling this card for all of us who's watching, you had an aha moment, you have a clarity moment, you know what your purpose is, or you think you know what your purpose is, move on it. That's all I'm saying. Right next to that, you got the judgment card. We all have the judgment card. And the judgment card is really like you got to step back and ask yourself, am I doing the right thing by doing nothing? Am I doing the right thing by doing too much? Um, I have to ask myself that every day. Every day. Um, what I've been learning lately to do with myself and talking to myself is saying, sometimes you, I'm too vocal. Sometimes I'm too vocal. And so I have to, it's like the judgment card. I have to step back and question myself. Shut up, Karen. <laughs> Don't speak on this, Karen. Don't tell this supervisor or Karen. You need your job, Karen. Just put a smile on your face and send love and light, Karen. The judgment card means talk to yourself and get it together. Six of Pentacles. We getting a lot of Pentacles, and I don't care if the number's all over the place. They all have a meaning. The seven was watching your money grow. The nine means we almost there. We almost at our goal. Now we at Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles means give and receive. We can look at these cards can resonate with everybody or these cards may not resonate with everybody. But if you're a believer in whoever you believe in, if you don't give back and it doesn't have to be money, it doesn't have to be pentacles, it could be anything. If you have old clothes, you could bring those to the thrift shop. You know, you could not the thrift shop, the is it the thrift shop? The shop, the 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 
selling of old clothes like you could get you could put the old clothes in a bin for a bum you know what i'm saying for somebody who don't got clothes you could take old baby clothes and give them to the to the thrift shop you know what i'm saying um i love a good thrift shop you should see the jacket i bought the other day seven dollars anyway um i don't know why that came to my see what i mean about downloads like this whole morning, God has just been sending me messages, and not only for me, for y'all too. Um, so get your old clothes up, do do a spring cleaning, do a little cleaning, whatever you can fit, please give it to your thrift shop. Give it to your thrift shop. A pair of sneakers or whatever. There's bins on the corner down here. I don't know so much about New York. I don't know about New York. There's always a thrift shop somewhere, all right? There's always someone who needs somewhere. Give those clothes and them shoes to somebody who needs them, please. Um, so you ha this six of pentacles is give and receive. When you give to the universe, the universe will give back to you. When you give to God, gratitude, gratefulness, thankfulness, God will give back to you. God don't do nothing for nothing, okay? Um, King of Pentacles. This could be you taking this energy on, or it could be someone around you, like I said with the other cards. Um, King of Pentacles is all about someone who is strong with their money. They're a leader. They're focused. They don't sit around contemplating. They say, okay, I want to build this business. In a week, you see their bills, their business up and running. Okay, but they're very loving too. They want to see their family and their friends. They want to see them grow. So like if they open up a business, they give their friends jobs. Um, they give their family jobs. Or if they open up a business... Or if they find a way to open up a business, they trying to bring the hood together. They trying to bring our community together. The King of Pentacles is really good because they're not selfish. They're very loving, but they're, they're, they're on a path, though, to make that money. So hopefully, I want to say that's me, but I'm moving very slow. It's okay, as long as I move. Uh Last card, boom, 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 two of cups. Now, two of cups in a reading is usually about, it's usually like a relationship. You know, you meet somebody, ooh, if that doesn't resonate with you, it could be a friend that somebody's coming in your life that you really love, that you really take to, that you really care for, that gives you good advice and that's going to lead you down the right path. Um or maybe you're leading each other in the right path. Maybe you're going into somebody's life and they are loving you. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to resonate as a relationship. But it could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a family member you just meeting. It could be anything. So this is a great card to have. Two of cups. Because cups are emotions. Who don't want to love and care for the world and for people. Okay? So um, usually I'm at 23 minutes. I'm going to get off of here. I just want to hit y'all with some of the things that I just said. Um, uh, you have to stay inspired to do more. You have to, when I say do more, you have to know what your purpose is. If you're a parent, of course, your purpose is to raise your kids. But I'm not talking about as a mother or a father. I'm talking a purpose for you. My purpose is you know, love and light, sending love and light out. And if people, and trying to get people to see that if, if the world loved each other more and if we showed each other love, love more, and if, and even not the world, just our community, we would be in such a better place. You know what I'm saying? Um, so my advice there is if you online at McDonald's, get a salad, <laughs> you know, um, and pay for the person behind you. Why not? Why not? If it's payday, just pay for the person behind you. And if it's not payday, give the person a $2 tip or something. Like, one act of kindness can show the universe how much you believe and how much you love. You know what I'm saying? Because all of this doesn't start with hate. It starts with love. 
So you have to exude that. So I could go on all day about that. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, but a uh, purpose, you have to find what your purpose is. Your purpose could be giving to the goodwill. Your purpose could be um, getting a group of kids together who can't pay for a dance class and making it work, you know, or a sewing class and making it work. Um, your purpose could be just giving a young, these youngins nowadays is so different from us. You know what I'm saying? So your purpose could just be standing on the block saying, yo, homie, read a book. You know what I'm saying? You could do that every day for 30 days. That could be your purpose. Or you could just pray and ask God, what is my purpose? If you think it, you see it, you speak it, and you feel it, he will tell you. Um, um, last thing is, yes, y'all, I'm going to start. I'm here in North Carolina. Um, if you ever visit, come get on the pole. I'm starting to dance again. I start teaching September 11th. The Goddess Flow, TML, the Goddess Model. I'm telling you, we're back to basics. We're back to the to what we should have never left from. Um, so it's going to be great. I'm excited and I'm nervous. I'm ready to shed this weight. Um, I'm ready to um, not do this alone, though. So this is why I'm doing the calendar. Um, I'm also thinking about coming out with a fragrance. Um, but everything I do, I'm going to let y'all know. Um, because y'all are going to be like my test dummies. Because <laughs> if y'all can love it, then the world will love it, okay? So I thank you again for so much support, for supporting me on the Facebook with the pictures. I really didn't expect that, and I'm so, so, so grateful. Um, and when I get some more, I'll put them out. Um, Kathleen knows she's my photographer, if y'all want to know. And just stay tuned, because I have a lot of stuff coming. Sending love and light, always. <laughs>